I love autumn. One of my favorite things to do this time of year is to go out searching for caterpillars. When you think of caterpillars, you probably think of butterflies right away, and that makes perfect sense. The caterpillar phase is part of the butterfly life cycle, but it's also part of the life cycle of moths. Here in Fairfield County, we have a huge diversity of moth species, which means we have a huge diversity of moth caterpillars. I love finding them. They come in all different sizes, shapes, colors. They're amazing. But there's one that's always a little bit more exciting to find than others. And I don't find it very often, but I have one here to show you today. Are you ready? Hickory Horned Devil. What a beauty. You can see these spines on its head. They look scary, but they don't actually sting. There are caterpillars that have stinging spines. This just isn't one of them. When you first encounter one of these, they will swing those antler-like spines around very quickly on their head. If I were a hungry bird and I encountered one, I might think twice about trying to make it my lunch. These legs back here are very sticky almost like Velcro. That's a really important adaptation for this species. This species as an adult moth doesn't have working mouth parts, so it has to get all of its energy for its entire life cycle while it's in this caterpillar phase. Those sticky feet are important. Um, because if you're spending this entire part of your life um, on, trees, on trees eating leaves, you need to be able to stay there. If a predator tries to take you off of your stem, you need to be able to hold tight. Of course, if it gets windy, you don't want to be blown away and then have to spend energy making your way back to your food source. So the sticky feet are really important. This caterpillar is not even done growing yet. It could potentially double in size and its color will change a little bit before it is ready to move on to the next phase of its life cycle. When it's done eating for the year, it will come down onto the ground and look for an underground place to spend winter. That's usually when people encounter these kinds of caterpillars and when I start getting pictures of, of them, people wanting to know what they found, not just this species, but many species that have a similar life cycle. Once it finds its underground spot, it's going to pupate. That pupa is the phase in between caterpillar and adult moth. If all goes well, um, next year a royal walnut moth will emerge and try to look for a mate. Caterpillars have different host plants, which are what they are eating. Some of them are very specific. Um, many people know monarch caterpillars only eat milkweeds. Some are more generalist. Our history horned devil here they like to eat hickory and walnut. I found this one on the walnut. I'm gonna take it back to its tree and hopefully, um, hopefully the weather will hold out. It will get plenty to eat and be able to emerge as a fully developed adult royal walnut moth next year. One more quick look just because or she is so amazing. 